Hello Pisces, welcome to your February 2018 love reading. This will take you from February 14th or Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day everybody, till March 15th of 2018 and for those of you that follow me on my channel you know that I don't normally do a love reading but I've been guided to do so this month likely because of the full moon and the lunar eclipse January 31st closing doors as well as um, the new moon on February 15th and Valentine's Day of course so now you know that full moons are about chapters ending and doors closing and new moons are about doors opening plus we've got February 14th or Valentine's Day in there so for me I think a lot of you had clearing of relationships that are no longer serving you or you were supposed to clear out. So let's find out which it is. And I want to thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and viewing, as well as checking out my year ahead 2017 spreads on my website. Now, to get started, the bottom of the deck card is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. That is an amazing overall energy, okay? So you've got a soulmate coming in, likely a twin flame. Let's, let's see. First card, oh yeah, twin flame. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. That's amazing. Second card. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Now, if you notice in this card, she's in a wedding gown and he looks like he's in a tux. So for me, this card in some situations can represent a loving couple just spending time alone, getting to know each other. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, you're going to get married, although it could. I mean, with the cards you've got coming out so far, it could very well mean this person coming in, this soulmate coming in is somebody that you're going to marry. Now, next card, your last card, unrequited love. A few people have got this already. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, let's see the message we've got for Pisces. Okay, for some of you, this is past life somebody you've known in a past life. Um, you may or may not know them in this life. You may have already come across them. Maybe you haven't. Um, but very definitely your soulmate, okay? For others, this is not a past life relationship but it's somebody you've already met and they are a soulmate, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Could be a past life, probably is a past life relationship, but you've already met them in this life and they are a very important soulmate to you. Oh boy. Okay, so what I'm hearing with this card is some of you are retreating because you have met this person. You're very aware they're a soulmate, but you're already married. And it's not to this person. And you know this is the person you're supposed to be with. <sighs> Yikes. And you have been aware for a while that the relationship you're currently in, the feelings are not reciprocated. So your twin flame is coming in and you're not available. 
this is some of you, okay? This isn't all of you. So if this resonates with you, if you are in a, in a committed, now you might not be married, uh, you know, as far as uh, going through the motions and, and actual, the actual process of getting married, but you're in a very committed relationship. Either you live with this person, you're engaged to them, you're married to them, one of the above. It is committed and you're deep into it. Either you have been there so long that it's going to be really difficult to make the decision to walk away or your um, joint uh, joint ownership of property is what I'm hearing. So Maybe you purchased a house together um, Maybe you're renting and you have a lease together and both names are on it and you just you feel like you can't break away from this just yet. Um, the only other scenario that I'm getting is that some of you do have a past life relationship coming in or has come in you've already left you you're either in the midst of leaving this this bad relationship or you have just left it and you are you're disconnecting just to clear this out before this takes place okay because uh, you're not quite ready for it yet so those of you that these two messages resonate with great if it doesn't resonate with you, if you're in a great relationship, you don't understand why you would be leaving, this isn't for you. Please don't leave a comment saying, but my relationship is great, why would I want to leave it? Okay, this isn't for you. If it doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon and rising sign because maybe that's where your information is this month. Um, yeah, this is kind of a, a little bit of good and bad mixed in one reading here. I mean, you've got the perfect relationship coming in but you have to do this is a lot of people are a lot of the zodiacs are getting that this reading where they're already in a committed relationship and they're having to walk away in order to get this twin flame relationship but you know I keep hearing love yourself enough to walk away from what's no longer serving you okay so if you are in this relationship you're already aware of it you feel it deep down inside you know this isn't where you're supposed to be you know you've just been putting up shutting up thinking well it's it's you know this is as good as it gets it's not as good as it gets if you're not overwhelmed with amazing feelings of love then you're not in the right relationship the right relationship makes you feel excited and happy and it brings out that inner child. Do you remember your inner child from back when you were you were a kid? Do you remember that excitement you used to feel when something new would come along or uh, when you meet somebody and it just it's so warm and fuzzy and it's great. It's amazing. That's what this is going to feel like. If you're not feeling that right now, then you're not in it. And it's unrequited. Now, I'm not sure if, you know, Pisces, you're the one that, that has more feelings for the other person, your partner, than they do you, or vice versa. But somebody isn't in it the same as the other person, which you know that right there says it's not the right relationship for either one of you so you know you walking away you're not just doing it for yourself you're helping your partner too because if it's not right for you it's not right for them wow okay so you know what you need to do um, good luck Pisces I know it's it's a hard next step but but what you have coming, once you take that step, what you have coming is amazing. 
So good luck. I want to thank you for viewing, liking, subscribing, sharing, and checking out the 2017 Year Ahead spread on my website and supporting me. Till next time, Pisces.